Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! <laughs> you cover yourself in their smell. Rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Need to walk. 
Slowly, you'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. Please. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. You guys are fine. Just go. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. of walkers. They're so many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just we need. A what? We'll see. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. We can stop for a moment, if you need to. No, no. I, I can rest when we're with the others. I can't rest now. Can't just stop. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus, I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped. But I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it. But Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is 
Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. And, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? And? Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were- She died? I don't need your pity. You don't. You don't have the right. Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it! Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Oh, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. Where's everyone else? We were hoping you would know. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot, but no way we can stay here long term. I told you, that's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. What does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. Somebody's got to do something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I've seen Kenny like this before. You think he'll... I don't know... snap out of it? I don't know. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, Maybe you could go talk to him? Okay. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried, worried about you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! I 
for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Plan. How'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, and it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. The group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You coulda. What happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. 
Why would you even do that? What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <clears throat> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <sighs> Jackpot. These walkers got some good stuff. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Emma's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Oh, well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my haircut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Amy always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, Clem. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! Goddammit! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh no. It's Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. 
no hesitation. You know that, right? It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. You can do this. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. Okay, we're in. What now? Start by getting a better look. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Alright, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Dead. Glad you're paying attention. Yeah, most of these guys are gonna have nothing on them. But it's worth taking a look when it's not too risky. It's gonna take some work to get over there. See if we can find anything over there. make any noise until we've dealt with those guys. You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. We can't stay here. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. And we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. We are right. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. Yeah, it does look pretty strong. What am I looking for? See if you can find something to distract them. Why are you being like this? What are you thinking? We should search him. Not all of them are winners.
What are you doing? What are you Why thinking? Are you doing this? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. Hey, are you guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Block this! Hurry! Sarah, please! Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. I heard y'all banging through the door. Thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. Luke, are you all right? I'm, uh, I'm walking. I can't do much else, though. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? Gotta help. See, it's just like I told you, that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. Come on! We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't... we can't... we can't stay here! I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... We're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. You helped me when we first met. Now I want to help you. right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke and Jane and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's 
no time! Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here! Help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find. Can we use this? It's not big enough! The fridge! Forget it! That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on! Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? I can't do it. Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> Clem, please! Oh, move! <laughs> Clementine! Grab her! Gotta go. Sarah. Come on. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Please, Sarah, you've got to start trying, or you're not going to be okay. People won't want to help you if you aren't trying. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... 
I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem. I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time... Walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? How could you leave your sister? I don't... I don't know. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. I hope I did the right thing. I think you did. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him! Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. Wait, wait. Where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? Henny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs>
I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Penny, you're not... you're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Penny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I wanna check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else, too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting... They were going to leave me, weren't they? Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come... you didn't leave me? Because we're friends. 
I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Sure. Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. The others could really use a hand scout for supplies. I'll go help Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. 